Um, Rocco going back at you. So apparently my last video is completely gone off my phone. So um, that happened. Uh, if it matters, uh, this is my Carl Sandburg kind of loop around the Hendersonville route. Um, we had two disengagements, one getting onto the highway, uh, it stayed too far right to the merge lane, and then um, one where it didn't slow down the speed anywhere near quick enough, it was going way too fast in an area. Uh, that was the other one, that was going across the intersection uh, um, where you know it always tries to get into the right lane where it, it merges for your long time viewers. Um, feet, yeah, that's um, away. that was really annoying at that. Otherwise, a couple small minor improvements so far. Um, it detects light sooner and slows sooner. Um, here, it's still not. If a car comes up behind me, this this lane is too close. There's a lot of space right here, and it's clear it's not seeing the median correctly. Um, so if someone comes up behind me, I'll disengage. It's really, I mean, it's fine, but it's not fine. It, it really depends because uh, it's in the middle of the road and it just, it's not going. So I, I had to press the accelerator to get it to go. Okay, that was a disengagement there. Um, trying, uh, yeah, it wanted to go into the curb uh, again right there. It hasn't done that in quite a few updates. And it could have been that car was pulled a little bit too forward. Not really sure. I still didn't read the speed limit sign. It was 20 mile an hour and went up to 35. So it's still not reading speed limit signs. Um, I forget that you guys haven't seen my no um, my comments from the, the last video I recorded that got deleted. But um, uh, I'm, this is going to be the first video now instead of the second video um, of 10.9 for me. Uh, I've had it obviously since earlier this week, but um, I just haven't had a chance to make a video. I had a friend visiting and he and I went uh, camping in the snow. Uh, went on a um, four day or yeah, four day three night expedition and uh, that was pretty fun, pretty brutal. And so I just obviously from that didn't have much time to, uh, to make videos. So I'm just doing that this weekend should already be slowing down for this light here. Okay, so for roundabouts, um, so far they have been improved. We'll see if it does here. I think it actually, okay, I was gonna say it no longer uh, stops at the yield, but it seems like it was gonna stop. I'm not pressing it currently. The so roundabouts do seem to be improved with this version. Once we, uh, if I manage to get to my actual test by next weekend, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure that's going to happen or not. Uh, it just really kind of depends. Uh, we're actually going to stop past Ace Hardware here, so it's going to be uh, just getting off the road and back. But um, so far, so good. Okay, so disengage I'm not gonna go in that entrance because of that car there. But we'll go in this one. But I'll see you once we're back on the road. Hey, we're back everyone. Got some things out of Ace and needed. Do some projects at home and we're gonna have a time to maybe do the same thing. That was incorrect. That's the first, not should, second update to ever do that. Uh, got in the wrong turn lane way too early. It's like not again routing issue. Not reading a map. It's gonna buy. It's, yeah. So two disengagements there. Uh, it's just gonna bypass completely this uh, intersection here. And it has tried that before as well. I guess wide and open. I'm pressing the accelerator. There's not a car around to mess it up. See, again, it's it's trying to stop completely after it goes through the intersection for some reason. That behavior needs to stop. Okay, we are good to go. 
have to press the accelerator that they give it confidence to go down there. We're gonna see if it gets in the wrong lane over here. So it's still trying to get in the wrong lane. And then it's turning on the blinker to go around a curve. Now turn left onto South Washington Street. So yeah, the worst it's done that in a few updates. Very jerky. go here I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna park on the street okay hey everyone um, we're gonna go down Main Street and then that'll be the end of this drive here and so let's be enable it in 500 feet turn left onto South Main Street not very good yet avoiding the snow piles on the road. A little bit hesitant going through there, but it did make it. Going down Main Street actually worked out pretty well. Um, as good as the last update. Nothing. Um, besides it showing 30 mile an hour, which it most definitely is not on this road, um, I think that's really the only thing that needs to be fixed. Uh, it's probably going to try to do a turn on red. Yep. Not going to be able to do it. Okay, we're not going to try everyone. We'll wait until it turns green. It's not reading signs yet. And so... And stuff like that, but it's like, Elon's like, oh, it's going to be level four by the end of the year. But it can't read signs yet. That's literally not possible until it can read signs. Unless, unless they're contrary to what they're saying, they're going to use detailed map data. And that is much more detailed um, than normal if you're talking about using, um, like, literally down to, like, where signs are. That's, that's too much. One thing to show, like, speed limits... But the show where no turn on red signs are, or one way signs, or all that stuff, that's getting too, it's probably getting too much. The car needs to be able to learn to read the signs like we do. Because uh, a sign could change, like, could be covered up or changed um, the next day. Uh, it's good to have a baseline, but it shouldn't rely on it. See how it t turns here. I'm going to have to get in the left lane, so I'm going to disengage. But, um, yeah, so this type of test obviously was worse with this version. I think it was just based on the conditions. We got lucky on the last one. It was the last update was the first time we ever had a zero disengagement drive for this um, route. Um, but obviously this one, not so lucky. Not so lucky at all. If you have any questions for me on this one, everyone, uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'm probably not going to have as many videos with this version as previous ones but um hopefully we'll get back at it with the 10.10 or whatever might be coming out or version 11 and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching everyone